Shalom everybody. Today we're going to be looking at the three verses in the book of Numbers. The three verses that is the Aaron blessing, blessing of Aaron, the original high priest of Israel. We also call it the priestly blessing. Now if you go to first verse, it says, may the Lord bless you and keep you. What's the first insight we can learn about this? So the very first thing is we know that God is the source of all blessing. And God is up here and, he is, and you we're down here and he is the source of that blessing. And when the high priests of Israel would go into their uh, hand gesture, they would download this blessing. The question is really about the second part of the verse. And may God also guard you or keep you. So the question is, is why do I need protection? Why do I need God to guard me after I've already received the blessing, right? So one of the insights is like this. First, we go to the mystical tradition and we see that God is light. Having light in this world, receiving light in this world is not enough. We also need a vessel to contain it. Okay, so what good is light without a vessel to contain it? So, Vaishmarecha, and may God guard you or protect you, that is the vessel. That's a necessary boundary, spiritual boundary, you want to put around that which you are blessed with. When you come into good fortune, when you come into success, when you come into raising healthy, beautiful children, whatever it may be, you want the blessing to be sustained. You want the blessing to continue. There could be an external threat and an internal threat. External is that when you come into blessing, people will begin to notice. And maybe you want Hashem, the Lord, to protect you from that. But the internal is what's interesting. What is the internal threat when I receive blessing in my life? The internal threat, on the other hand, is yourself. You're asking God, protect me from myself. Why? Because human beings have this tendency that when they come into good fortune, they begin to feel proud, which is fine. There's healthy pride, and then there's unhealthy pride. Un unhealthy pride is when you begin to take all the credit to yourself. Somehow it feeds and enhances your ego, and you risk the possibility of getting in the way of yourself. You become, it goes from pride to credit, you credit yourself for everything, and then grandiosity. The moment grandiosity enters the picture, you are in danger of the blessing leaving just as fast as it came in. So we want the blessing to continue. Okay, so, so far, Pasuk 1, verse 1, level 1, is God is external to the creation, but he is the source of all blessing, all the necessities we have in life. Level 2 is the next verse. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'chuneka. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Second verse that reads, And the Lord shall turn his face towards you and grace you. So we see this is already a second level of the relationship. Now we are closer with God and close enough that we see each other's face, so to speak. So when the light of God's face, which that's literally what it means, is that God's light of his face shall turn towards you. When you're standing in the light of God's countenance, in, in, where he is radi radiating his light and blessing, that's when you are able to be a recipient for divine grace. May God lift up his face towards you and grant you peace. How do we explain the lifting of God's face? Is there's a beautiful story from Rabbi uh, Lord Jonathan Sachs of the UK. He gives a beautiful mashal, a story where he says there, there's an entire village that went to the side of a hill, looking over a cliff, looking out at the horizon at a big ship that's passing by. And one of the children in the village amongst an entire crowd is waving up and down, waving their arms and yelling and and, and one of the elderly uh, men of the village turns around to the child and says, what exactly are you doing? And he says, I'm trying to get the attention of, of the captain of the ship. 
I want the captain of the ship to see me. So the elderly man says, what makes you think that the captain of the ship is going to notice you? You're in a whole large crowd of people and the captain of the ship is very, very far. And he said, and so the boy answers, oh, he'll notice me. My father is the captain of the ship and he's waiting for me to signal him. So it's, this is level three is that when God lifts up his face and sees you, he sees you out of seven billion people on this planet. And the moment that he sees you and he's waiting for your signal and he responds by returning a wave, at that moment you're filled, you're filled with shalom. Shalom is peace. Shalom is a sense of completion of wholeness where nothing is missing at that moment. Everything is perf perfect. So that, that divine peace, that peace that only God can give you happens on level three. And the insight that the Baal Shem Tov gives us is that all the, all the blessings that precede that word Shalom, everything else you've been praying and davening so hard for can come can come to fulfillment, but it is all dependent on shalom. Shalom is the ultimate vessel, peace and harmony. So may God bless you and I and everyone we know that we should have more peace and harmony in ourselves. We should have more peace and harmony in our family life, in our relationships, between ourselves and our neighbors, with our countrymen and countrywomen in our nation. May we become vessels for the abundance of light that God is ready to give each and every one of us. And he says, what was the greatest blessing that God gave Israel at that moment that he taught them this three verse blessing of the priests? The greatest blessing is our ability to bless. Okay, the greatest blessing he gave in us our hands is the ability to bless each other. And so when we bless each other, that creates the circulation, that creates the movement of blessing. And that was the entire purpose behind making these weekly Torah updates, because my mother is in, uh, facing some health challenges. And the more blessing and light we can circulate, it will be in her favor, God willing, towards her recovery. This is a picture of my mom's mom when she was just a little girl with her father David or David Faust. This picture is of the greater Faust family with David Faust all the way towards the right. And uh, his father, my, my great great grandfather Moshe Faust in the middle. And the interesting thing about all of them is they were priests. Not only were they musicians and scholars, but they were priests. That means they come from the family line, direct descendants of Aaron, the original high priest of Israel. May all of their names be for a blessing. May you and me receive the greatest, greatest grace and gift of peace and protection and health, free from worry, and may all, we all see better days ahead.